Um, thanks for making it on such a wet, horrible day. Uh, my name is Kira, and I am creative director of Associate. It's a Dublin-based design company. So I'm going to just run through with you my story, how I got to where I am now, um, starting back uh, at school. So. In primary school and secondary school, art was my favourite subject, so I kind of knew from very early on that was what I excelled at, that's what I enjoyed the most. Um, so, at the school, so in order for me to kind of go for my college applications, I, you know, focused very much on building a very strong portfolio. Because, uh, you know, when you're applying to college, it's, it's very much like applying for a job. You know, the, you really need to put a lot of effort um, into your portfolio and make sure that it's, like, you know, you put your best foot forward. Um, so I got a number of different places and I chose to go to Limerick Irish College. Um, I had no connection with anyone in Limerick. But the, the main reason I went there was my sister had gone to John Leary Art College and she was all singing, all dancing, so I didn't want to follow in her footsteps um, and constantly be uh, compared to her. So I said, right, I'll go and do my own thing, go to Limerick. So I arrived in Limerick and the foundation year, which, was, which is your first year in college, we uh, studied various different disciplines. So the idea of foundation year is to help you to find out which kind of art subject you are really good at and which you, you want to go through uh, to do your degree or your uh, diploma. So I did various things like ceramics, fashion, painting, sculpture, but graphic design was the one that kind of stood out for me. Um, I suppose because graphic design is more kind of precise in a way, and you're, you're kind of working with with language and um, you know creating visual communication, whereas the likes of painting um, and sculpture was more working with materials, and that just wasn't kind of my bag. So um, after at the end of the foundation year, you have to make a decision which discipline you want to go into. So I chose. Uh, graphic design. So I did the, the four years degree and you know in foundation you cover all that kind of stuff. Uh, second year and third year you're working towards your um, your diploma and you know they, they cover everything. You're, you're working with typography, learning kind of how to, to look at words and, and how letters work rather than just kind of typing stuff out, you actually hand render and type and all this kind of cool exciting stuff. Um, you're also like, you know, working a lot with your hands. Um, the, well, when I was in college anyway, you know, the focus wasn't on kind of creating everything on a computer, that it was, you were trying to develop your kind of conceptual skills. So, you know, just like a, a pen or a pencil you draw with, that's your tool so should be um, your computer. You shouldn't kind of, you don't need to rely on that so much. It's all about your ideas and generating those. So I graduated from college, and the next step is getting a job. So that's your next big hurdle. Um, again, just like you know, applying for your for college placement, you need to put the same kind of effort into your. Um, job application, so it's about preparing a really strong portfolio. So the work that you've built up in college, you you need to look at that and don't be afraid to edit it down either. You know, if you've got ten pieces of work from college, pick five really strong ones rather than going ahead, going into a, a job application with like ten pieces of work that maybe five of them you're not you're not as happy about. Um, the other thing is also, you know, really putting time and effort into designing your CV. If you're going for a creative job, such as a graphic designer, 
then if your CV lands on a you know a potential um, employer's desk, you want to really impress them and show off your skills um, with the simplest things like your CV, how it's laid out, um, you know, really paying attention to detail like spelling and all that kind of stuff needs to be absolutely perfect. Um, and also now, you know, it's it's almost required that you have your, you've designed your own website so that people can go online and look at your portfolio online and, and read up on you if you've, if you've got a blog or something like that. So it's all about really making yourself stand out from the crowd because you might be one of 20 people <coughs> applying for a job. Um, so you want, you want to be the, the person that jumps out. So then um, I'd, I'd started working in Limerick. I'd kind of done a number of, of um, kind of small enough jobs when I left college. Like I wouldn't be afraid to just take any, take any job because the more experience that you have, the more you're building up to that kind of the, the ultimate job that you dream of, um, especially in graphic design. I mean, you, you have to start and it's like almost learning a trade. When you leave college, you've got all your creative kind of skills, but you also then need to learn the actual kind of the workings of, you know, art working uh, projects and sending stuff to print and all, all this stuff, dealing with kind of your creative directors and um, it's all a learning curve. Um, so I'd worked in Limerick and then for maybe a year I'd had a couple of different jobs and then I got a kind of my first proper good job in Limerick, worked there for two years and then I decided to move to Dublin because I was kind of ready for, um, I wanted more excitement, I wanted more kind of challenge and I saw Dublin as being kind of really uh, exciting place for graphic design. So I moved to, Gra to Dublin and got a job with a company called Creative Inc. And uh, actually stayed there for nine years. So, which is probably unusual for uh, graphic designers, quite often you'll move around every four or five years. So I, what happened, I suppose, for me was that I, I entered Creative Inc. as a, you know, a middleweight designer. So you'll start off as a junior, then you're a middleweight designer. Um, and within that company, I, I kind of grew my career. So they, there, was, there was room for me to grow within that company. Therefore, I didn't actually move on for, for that length of time. So I'd worked as, um, went in as a middleweight and I was promoted then to senior designer. And then, then ultimately I was uh, made design director. So, as design director, I suppose the challenges start changing, you know, you're working a lot more, you're, you're client facing, so you're having to kind of manage clients and you'll have um, designers that you're, that you're working with, um, you know, mentoring them on a daily basis, along with kind of leading kind of big projects for the company. So, um, oh, going back. So this is just some of the stuff. I'm just going to show you um, some of the work that would have come from that phase of my career um, in Creative Inc. So this, I would have worked on kind of lots of different kind of, um, you know, printed materials, you know, menus for beauty parlors and uh, did some stuff for Habitat. And, um, and then there's always the kind of the, the more creative projects like, you know, posters and stuff. And that was another kind of point that I wanted to make that at every stage in your in your career, whether you're you're or you're in school or whether you're in college or you're starting out, always um, look to do kind of self initiated projects because that is going to build your portfolio further as well. So that, you know, outside of, of college work or outside of your your job just have have an interest in kind of creative initiatives that are going on because it will really help your portfolio and, and develop your your skills and it's also really good if you're like it's a good creative outlet as well if you're um 
I mean, if, if the job you're in is, is perhaps very corporate type of work, then, you know, these kind of creative initiatives projects will help you to, to kind of uh, let out that kind of the more fun kind of side of, of design. Um, this would be one of the um, self-initiated projects that I would have done. Uh, it was designing, the brief was to design a label for a tomato can, um, and it was a, an exhibition that was held in Italy. So each, each of these are designed by different designers all over kind of Europe, and that was my one there. There. So it's this kind of stuff that's just kind of fun to do, um, and you know, there's no client, you're just kind of, it's all up to yourself. So yeah, as I said, I was um, promoted to design director then, and that kind of was the, the next challenge in uh, my career. This is just some of the other kind of work that I would have done, and I, I just put these together to show you that it's you know, graphic design, there's, there's also an element of branding so that you're, you're going to be designing kind of logos and that might turn into stationery and then you've got kind of printed materials, you know, booklets and brochures and all sorts. So it's a really diverse career path to take. Um, not only are you working on like producing all these different types of, of um, projects and pieces, but you're also working with a really diverse range of like subject matter and clients. So you, you know you could be working with like this is a this is a restaurant, um, this is Dublin City Council, this is like a flower company, Cleary's department store, you know, a music network, a juice bar. Like this, you're constantly encountering kind of new people and new subject matters, and that's what makes. Um, graphic design a really, really interesting and um, fulfilling career to, to take on. This was um, an annual report, so this would be something that, you know, you might, it, the brief comes onto your desk, it's like, oh no, I have to design an annual report, that sounds really boring. But you can actually, you know, do really interesting, exciting stuff with it. Um, this was for the, the Greyhound board, so it's like Greyhound Racing, and we got, you know, all these dogs came up to the photographer's studio for the day, and we, we did a photo shoot with them. So these guys here were actually on, we set up a, a glass and set the cameras up underneath the glass, so we had the dogs up on the, the glass, we were shooting them from below, so that was... That was a fun day. <laughs> um, again, this is another annual report that I would have done at the time for Dublin City Council. Um, and just, you know, being creative with something that otherwise, you know, you want, if people are, are re have to read through figures and numbers, why not make the, the piece kind of more engaging and, and fun? So then after the nine years, I decided that it was time, well time, to, to, to go and to pursue my next um, dream in my career, which was to set up my own design studio. So uh, two years ago, I left Creative Inc. and set up Associate. Um, and my business partner is over there in the corner, Kevin. He's our web design department. <laughs> So we do both, we do graphic design, branding and web design, so our clients can come and we, to us and we can kind of roll out everything for them all in the, in the one uh, perfect package. So this is just some of the stuff that, that we've worked on, there's kind of a mixture of um, like self-initiated projects, I still do them all the time because they're fun and uh, you get a lot of enjoyment out of them. So like this is a, this poster again was another um, poster designed for an Italian uh, paper company and uh, Italian printer was kind of a promotional piece to promote their business. So I was one of the designers to work on a set of those. 
and um, there's various stuff there. You know, there's, there's kind of more corporate stuff. There's like IDA Ireland, there's um, IEM Network, there's uh, Hiccups is a kind of an online uh, children's store website that Kevin worked on and I just did the, the print stuff. Some more stuff here, you know, we we'll do kind of like bags and uh, again that's a, a logo and books and all sorts of things. And this is just our kind of recently, which they're just hitting the, the streets this week, um, the Design Week catalogue. So anybody who's you know interested in design here, you should try and pick yourselves up one of these catalogues and go to some of the events. It runs the first week of November. Um, so there'll be lots of interesting kind of stuff going on there. So that's the story to date. Thank you. <laughs>